All right, coaches, you're doing fantastic so far. So uh, you hope you're getting some fantastic information out of this uh, course. Uh, Chris King's Coaching Kids Soccer Ages 5 to 10 coaching course. Uh, yeah, so far we've learnt some essential skills to teach the kids. So we've done some toe taps, happy feet, soul rolls, bit of juggling, right, and now we're into the turns. So this is all stuff that kids can practice at home. Um, I used to love just going out in the backyard, setting some poles up, spending hours on the ball. All right, you can keeps the kids out of trouble. They can do it. They can do it in a lounge room as well. If you've another another tip is to buy them a, a softball so they can use that inside and they're not going to be knocking stuff over. Uh, so just a little inflatable one. And then you can use a, a harder one for um, outside. But yeah, it doesn't hurt to have buy them a few soccer balls so they've got them laying around the place. And if they're going to a mate's place, they can take a football with them, juggle it, dribble it up the road, getting an extra 10 or 15 minutes practicing, aren't they, without even knowing. They can dribble it to school if they want. All right, but um, I'm getting off the off the beaten track, aren't I? So let's get into turns. So we just did a sole roll turn, so that was just directly behind the body. Um, but I'll just hit play on this, and this is called uh, behind the legs, also known as the cr cryf, uh, cruyff, sorry, turn. I'll pause it there. Okay, so what you want to do with this one, you're turning your foot and the ball goes behind the standing leg. So turn the foot so that you use the instep of the foot to touch the ball behind your body. So we'll just watch that first one again. So I'll pause it. All right, so that's the shape that we want. So standing foot there and then I've got my left foot just tapping it, flicking it behind my body. So turn the foot so that you use the instep of that foot, so the instep in there, to touch the ball behind your body. You can then head off in the opposite direction or at any angle. All right, so I could touch the ball back that way. I'm just going directly behind my body, and then I'm going to use my other foot to do it the same way. There you go, so that's a bit closer. So you can just see, the, the kids will find it a little bit awkward to start with, but after they've done it a couple of times, um, like anything, they'll get used to it. So you're just kind of turning your, your toe backwards, your instep backwards, flicking it behind your body, and you can go off in the opposite direction, whichever way you want to go. Boom. All right. And see, I'm just, just walking nice and slowly there. So that's what you want to do with any skill. Start off slowly, build it up. And then they can start using it in um, in actual games or in actual practice, all right? So, but initially when you teach a skill, you just want them doing it by themselves so they can learn in their own time, figure out how to do it, stop it every now and then, um, show it to them um, yourself so that they can get a picture in their mind. So it never hurts, just go over it a few times and then go along the line and just check each kid, see how they're going, give them some little little pointers. All right, so that's number 10, turns behind the legs.